Van Gaal's Dr. Gadget by Israel Cardona. On July 29, 1890, one of the most influential artists, Vincent Van Gaal, committed suicide. Or did he? The reason Van Gaal's death was because he was shot in his abdomen out in the fields and died in an inn two days later. First of all, who tries to kill themselves by shooting themselves in the stomach? I decided to look more into conspiracies regarding his death and the one I came across was about a 16 year old boy who accidentally shot Van Gaal. Apparently, the 16 year old boy and another kid used to bully Van Gaal and one day, accidentally fired a pistol at Van Gaal. Van Gaal, being the good person he was, didn't want to blame the kids. He was asked by officials on his deathbed what had happened. He replied saying he attempted to kill himself. Van Gogh's death and life were full of conspiracies. Want to know more? Well, one of them dealt with his famous portrait of Dr. Gatchet. Before I tell you anything about the conspiracies regarding Dr. Gatchet, I must tell you background knowledge on the painting that set a world record. What's the world record? I'll tell you about it later too. Stay tuned. On March 30th, 1853, one of the most influential artists in Western art history, Vincent Villarreal, was born. His hometown is Zander, and is south of Netherlands. His post-impressionist art inspired many of the artworks for the 20th century. Unfortunately, Van Gogh lived a life in which he was almost unknown and found fame way after his death. Vincent van Gogh painted arguably one of his most famous art pieces, Dr. Gatchet, in 1890 in Auvers sur Oise. Auvers sur Oise is a commune in the northwestern suburbs of Paris, France. The portrait was inspired by van Gogh's doctor, Dr. Paul Gatchet, who took care of van Gogh when he was ill and shortly before he died. The portrait of Dr. Gatchet is located in the Musée de Rossi in France. A little more on Dr. Gatchet himself. Dr. Gatchet was born on July 30th in Lille, France. Van Gogh and Dr. Gatchet were actually real close friends. They had a lot of similarities which created conspiracies and rumors. If you took a good look of the portrait of Dr. Gatchet, you see how he's leaning on a table. At first, when I saw the table in the Dr. Gatchet portrait, I thought it was just a table for decoration. However, the table Dr. Gatchet is leaning on is actually a table he owned. It is located in Dr. Gatchet's old home in Auvers sud oise France, where Van Gogh painted the portrait of Dr. Gatchet. If you look to the bottom left, you see two yellow books stacked on top of each other. Both books are by the same authors, the Goncourt brothers. Both books actually deal with negative life and, 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 and it's real ironic that they were painted in the Dr. Gatchet portrait. The first book by the Goncourt brothers is Manette Salomon. Salomon describes the lives of four more or less unsuccessful painters. The second book by the Goncourt brothers is Germini Lassertux. Germini Lassertux is about a young servant who lives a debauched life and dies miserably in the workhouse. Getting off topic, another interesting fact about Van Gogh is that his favorite color was yellow, which pretty much are the colors of the painted in Dr. Gadget. If you look at the bottom towards the center, there is a vase containing flowers. The flowers are foxglove, from which the heart medication Digitalis is derived. Digitalis is used to treat congestive heart failure, therefore may represent the physician aspect of Dr. Gatcha. According to Jennifer Bourne, a creative director and digital strategist as well as author of Color Meaning, Meaning of the Color Blue, Blue brings about qualities of suspicion, depression, stubbornness, and unreliability. Dr. Gadget has the face of a depressed man, which is probably why Van Gogh too labeled this portrait as the heartbroken expression of our time. 
Dr. Gadget's hand resting on his face is almost as if he is worried or contemplating. His eyes are in a way a focal point because of the mood of the portrait. The mood is sadness and loneliness, which is why if something is going through Dr. Gadget's mind, it is not anything positive. I had mentioned telling you guys about a world record Dr. Gadget broke. It is time to tell you that record. At first, I could not believe what Dr. Gadget had sold for. A painting being worth that much is astonishing. To me, a hundred dollars turns out that on May 15, 1990, the portrait of Dr. Gadget was sold for 82.5 million US dollars to Ryoi Saito, Japan's second largest paper manufacturer. I wouldn't pay that much for a painting, but I'm probably just saying that because I'm cheap. Another quick fact. There was actually a second version painted by Van Gogh of Dr. Gadget. Some say the portrait is a representation of Dr. Gadget's son, who is also named Paul. Van Gogh's death came on July 29, 1890 from a gunshot wound. He died in Aversuis, Oise, France. Throughout his life, Van Gogh suffered from frequent episodes of depression, paralyzing anxiety, and according to some, the symptoms of bipolar disorder. To the left is my artwork of Dr. Gatcha. Challenge question. Do you think any of Van Gogh's illnesses of, 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 of Dr. Gatcha? The thing about absinthe that caught my attention was that it contains a component of wormwood called thujone. Thujone causes hallucinations, which could, in my opinion, be a factor to some of Van Gogh's illnesses. I'm the kind of person who is into conspiracies, which is why I thought I'd at least mention one more in my story. The conspiracy I wanted to share was that it was believed that Van Gogh had painted himself in Dr. Gadget. Yeah, I know, it sounds crazy. It turns out the portrait is pretty much a representation of Van Gogh and Dr. Gadget. Considering these two became real, real close friends, it is said Van Gogh even told his brother that he saw himself in Dr. Gadget, which raises the question, did Van Gogh really paint Dr. Gadget or did he paint himself? To conclude, Van Gogh will go down as one of the greatest artists to ever hold a brush. Unfortunately, his illnesses didn't let him accomplish the things he was destined to accomplish when he was alive. His portrait of Dr. Gatchet is a good representation of that. The 82.5 million portrait is one of the many paintings that will represent and honor his legacy. Or is it a portrait of Dr. Gatchet?